not really sure what these guys are. They're on the side of the boat. So I smoked them up. And I'm actually eating them. Holds me over. There are no rules in ocean rowing. I present to you the hammock sail. Oh, look at that, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Ocean rowing, established in the late 1800s has remained one of the most unconventional ways to travel the seas. And after traveling the globe over the last decade, I believe it's got the ability to be the first vessel of its kind to circumnavigate the world without any land transfers. That's me, Adventure Aaron. And despite my lack of experience, I'm on a dedicated journey to overcome my mistakes in life and see if it can be done. Well, I'm starting with no backing, camera crew, or team members. I'm bringing you with me as I continue to share the stories of all the humanity that exists from the people I meet along the way. It's that unconventional travel, leaving those unforgettable memories, maintaining a perspective I call sea level. friends what's up it's my wake-up call normally so I am um, giving you guys an update because it's been a little while and it's probably what seven days and um, I've got quite a bit of things um, today I just wanted to show you where I'm heading so I'm on a 240 mile run basically from Ensenada that's me And I came down from San Diego there and that was 72 miles roughly in and out of the bay um, and today I am going let's see all the way down so we're in perspective for my international friends today I'm going here, all the way down to that little island, which is about 200, I'll say it's going to be 240 miles to the Cedros Islands. And as expected, the sea started out just like I expected. The only thing I didn't expect was how to make breakfast and still steer the boat with Smiles' as rudder. Who needs a cereal box when you got this, huh? Smiles. Good 
I'm just mixing it all together today. I put it all in a bowl. Oats, water, trail mix, juice. Oh, and instant coffee. It's all the same thing, ain't it? And one of the cool things I've been doing is um, I've got my sat phone. So my sat phone basically is an Iridium Go. And it allows me to use this awesome site called PredictTheWind.com. So I, you can use it and try it out for yourself if you want, but you enter your location. And this gives you a forecast of the winds, the waves, once it loads. And it gives you different readings of different module, models that you'll be looking at as well. See the waves are going this way. And the, the cool thing about this is today's Monday morning. It'll play for three to five days out. And three to five days out, you know, they say don't trust anything more than three days with the weather. So basically, I'm going to go to the wind here. And you can see where I'm going. I'm the white dot here. And I'm going all the way down to here. And basically, this is the wind that I'll be dealing with from it's Tuesday right now and it's just kind of clicking, running. These are about 15 knot winds. Pretty scary for the rowboat. Not scary, but better for a sailboat. They love this kind of weather. And then it changes. So um, I'll start it over again just so you guys can see. And it starts here. That's really good winds right now. That's right now, which is basically zero coming out of the harbor this morning. And it goes to about, there's 12. Okay. So 2.30 today. 2.30 today. I'll probably check in with you guys live. Those winds um, somewhere along that line are going to be pretty strong. And my expectations is they'll be kicking in. And as you can see right there, Monday, that's 5 o'clock so t today basically roughly three to five o'clock today these winds are going to be humming and i say humming mean 15 to 20 miles an hour so i'm sure we'll go live later on that one and indeed we did as i found myself battling these waves this was me cutting my teeth on ocean rowing with only four days of sea time actual hours. It was just like my mission control man said, Chris Martin. Suddenly, you're just immersed in this world and it's game on. Stopping for a quick bathroom break, I found smiles sideways to these huge waves. It was then I battled for the next one to two minutes to get her straight, only to find out these conditions were going to be the case for the next 30 hours to Cedros Islands. And that's exactly what happened as I continued to surf the waves through the night. Join me next time for lunch as I begin to catch and cook ceviche style.
and then the journey continues to take its course as we approach the Cedros Islands. I mean, I can't make this up. <laughs> 